Hey guys, hi, welcome back once again. My name is Vaishali and today I'd like to talk about the recently celebrated Teachers Day and Ganesh Chaturthi in the same breath. So the festival of Ganesh Chaturthi began with the establishment or sthapana of Ganpati or Ganesh Ji. And then the festival carries on for a few days before we go and immerse him in water. And as a kid growing up, I would always question my elders as to why do we immerse, why do we drown Ganpati? And maybe because while growing up, I had heard stories of people drowning and then even witnessing their family members crying over their departure, crying over their death or crying over their drowning, I kind of correlated humans drowning to Ganpati's drowning. And to me, it made no sense as to why somebody would be willing to drown the other and then celebrate on top of it. Why would we be willing to drown the God whom we associate as the Lord of people, as the server of people, Gano Ke Pati, Lobo Ke Leader? Why would we be willing to drown a God whom we associate with intellect and wisdom? Why would we be willing to drown somebody whom we associate as being far-sighted, as somebody who has the capacity to hear what we probably cannot hear, to listen to and pay attention to the little nuances that we probably miss out on? Why would we be willing to drown somebody whom we call as our Vignaharta? After all, we all want our obstacles to be removed. So why would we drown the person who removes all our obstacles? And to me, it made no sense. And I was given reasons like, well, it keeps people's livelihood alive. It keeps their work going. It keeps their creativity going year after year after year. While some others would tell me it helps bring communities together. We kind of come together in order to celebrate something. And then my question would be, why do we say Ganpati Bapa Moria Purcha Varshi Laukarya? When we want all of the aspects associated with Ganpati in our lives, why do we let him go in the first place when we have put him there in the first place. Why do we just let him stay for 10 days? Why can we not say, Ganpati Bapa Moria Ata Alaha Tadzautsnaka? Why can we not say, if you have come into our lives, let those aspects of you remain in our lives? And somewhere, as I reflected on it, I realized that probably there was a deeper meaning associated to it. There was a meaning that was hidden between the lines. Probably the incoming and the visarjan or the immersion of Ganpati somewhere tells us about the seasonal, the cyclical nature of life itself. It probably tells us that everything happens in a continuous rotation and that is how the cycle of life goes on and on and on. That is how one entire cycle gets completed. That is also where another cycle begins itself all over again. On another level, the teachers or Ganpati as a teacher was himself trying to say that immerse yourself in all of the qualities that I represent, that you aspire for. I am just a representation of all of those aspects, of all of those ideas, of all of those virtues. But the work has to be done by you. You have got to immerse. You have got to drown yourself in all of those virtues to find the Ganpati within. To even find that Ganpati or those virtues in somebody else. Probably it was also trying to tell me that once it's immersed in the water and that water is carried forward to other places, those aspects of Ganpati will be carried far and wide. And as we celebrated the Teacher's Day, it was also probably about celebrating all of those teachers that we may not necessarily be conscious about. Teachers who have not only taught us in schools, but teachers who also look like this. Teachers who also look like these blank pages, wherein they enable us to express our own selves, our own creativity. Wherein they enable us to express our own thoughts, our own feelings, our own personal perceptions. 
teachers who teach us how to observe the details about things say when we are trying to draw something and then they try to tell us look where the light falls look where it's a little darker because that's how you give depth to your sketches that's how you make your sketches your paintings come alive that is how 3d and 4d and 5d is created teachers who at times can look like rancho of three idiots or even chatur of three idiots who tell us what we necessarily should not be doing or at least not unconsciously doing some teachers can also look like pk who teach us how to view the world through a completely different lens for some the teachers can be in the form of plants that they take care of for every plant is also trying to teach those disciples that they all need different kind of care that one size does not necessarily fit all all the time every interaction every engagement that we have with the other the other including a person and all of these other things is also a teacher the visarjan of ganpati has also been one of my teachers and not to mention the least my daughter has been one of my greatest teachers amongst all of these other teachers as well she not only gave me a chance to be her teacher and her disciple at the same time but she also taught me how to be a better mother she also taught me how to be a more engaged a more present mother so our teachers our gurus our mentors our guides don't just come in one form they come in every form that can make us reflect on ourselves that can help make our unconscious conscious that can help open up our hearts and our brains that can help us become a little more curious a little more engaged a little more present a little more open hearted a little more open minded and not without discernments so today i'd like to acknowledge and pay due respect to all of these teachers who have taught me something or the other and i hope they keep teaching me more and more as i walk through my seasons of life give yourself a chance to think who all have been your teachers what all have they taught you have your teachers been somebody like chatur or have your teachers been somebody like pk have your teachers just been restricted to schools and colleges or did you find your teachers in many more places as well because it's my personal honest belief that every teacher is a willing curious disciple first let's try and think about all of those things let's try and keep finding our teachers our guides and our mentors so that we keep becoming a better version of ourselves so that we keep immersing and finding our own truths within ourselves let's try and do that for ourselves and i will see you once again the next week till then stay tuned in and guys if you do like the contents of my videos please do like share and subscribe